Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebane. Today we have some brand new arrivals to show you plus some new kits that we put together and I think you're going to love them. First up is Kendra Canines from Little Birch and it is absolutely fantastic. I feel like Little Birch is mostly known for her cats but these dogs that she's created have all of the same uh, lovability of the cats and it's in her classic rainbow colorway. So I think you guys are really going to love it. I may have to snag one of these from my collection too. So first we're starting with our dog squares. These look like little pet portraits. They're so adorable. It's a little dog with her uh, butterflies and a little bird and another little puppy jumping over. They're just so sweet and lovable and they're not like any one breed. So if you're like, like I have a Cocker Spaniel and a Basset Hound. So if I'm gonna buy anything dog related, it's usually gonna have one of those two breeds on it. But this one, like they're, they don't look like any specific kind of dog. Um, so you can absolutely go with it no matter what breed you like or if you like a good old fashioned mutt. Um, it has all of those beautiful rainbow colors to go with it. And we cut this, it's not a panel, um, it's running yardage, but we cut it as a panel to include in our fat quarter bundles. So that way you would have all of them and the entire repeat. Next up, we have the actual panel that goes with this one. And this one we cut out for you. I do think that this one here looks like a Cocker Spaniel with its ears. I'm just gonna put that out there, but there, that's, that's my favorite. That's the dog I grew up with. But you have this one really big one here. It can make a nice quilt center or a throw or something, throw pillow to go with it. And then we have the larger one below. This one is more square-ish. And so this could definitely be a nice big center to your quilt where other things go around it. And that would be really, really cool. Next, we're going to look at all of our dog prints. And like I said, they're all the rainbow of colors that Little Birch is known for. It's super gorgeous, super pretty, and will work with any Little Birch basic that you have in your stash. And this one is one of the lighter backgrounds, but we have all that gold metallic and black outlining the little doggos, and it really makes them pop. Next up, we have some golden butterflies. This does not have any metallic on it, but it makes a really nice sort of built-in blender. It's not a true blender because there is like a true pattern on here, but what it's gonna do is help pull the focus onto your main prints of your dogs and have those bits of yellow to help draw it out where you see it in details like their tails and bodies. Here's that same print again in a nice hot magenta fuchsia. We cannot have a dog themed line without some paw prints. So this one is really cute. It's got paw prints scattered all over on a very small scale with little tiny dots of metallic to help make that pop. Here is our butterfly print again, this time in a nice bold blue. This is one of my favorite prints of the entire line. We have the dogs in a nice black line work and the eyes are bright, just plain white, but the background of it is all this mottled rainbow that Laurel Birch is so well known for. And the decoration on the dogs are the colors that you see and the motifs that you see in all of her basics. So we have our triangles, we have our swirls, and those are just items that if you are a Laurel Birch fan, you have something to go with that in your stash already, and you're gonna be able to really make a really big, bold, quilt of this because you already have all the coordinates. Next up, we have this lovely stripe. And again, we're seeing a lot of the elements that are in the Laurel Birch Basics. We have our triangles, we have our swirls, and then you have your rainbow of color. I think this would make a great miter border or bias binding. Here are our paw prints again, this time in a nice hot green. And again, we have that gold metallic to help really make that pop. This print is very special to me. This is one of the reasons why I think I might wanna keep this for me as well, is if you have ever rescued a dog, you know how this goes, because we're talking about rescued and who rescued who and by my side and friends for life. And my husband and I, before we had kids, would foster dogs. And most of the dogs that we've adopted have been seniors because they often get overlooked in the shelters. And so we just give them a, a happy home for however much they have left. One time we got a dog right after her 15th birthday and we had her for about a year until she passed. You know, they deserve a nice happy life. And so we have had more than 10 dogs in the 14 years that we've been married. 
um, and a lot of that is having two to three at a time with fosters. Um, but it's also getting getting those seniors and they truly, truly love you. Right now I have Remy is one of my little buddies and he was my grandmother's dog that and she was just so glad to know that he was gonna have a home for life um, after she passed with me. And I just love snuggling with him. It just, I like to start my morning with that. It gets me ready for the day. And, and he knows, he knows he went to, not that he didn't have a good home before, he had a great home but he knows that he has a really good home now and he's he's really happy to be with us. So if you have rescued animals, like th this one is not dog specific, so if you've also rescued cats, this would absolutely work for it, but it is just, this one hits the heartstrings. We've got our paw print again, this time in orange and again, still with that gold metallic. We've got our butterfly one more time, this time in a nice bold purple. And we're gonna wrap it up in our last little doggo print. And it is so fun and it really pops with that black background. Black is always a fabulous background when you're working with Laurel Birch. It just looks, makes everything else pop. Well, that is Kindred Canines. I try not to keep too many for my stash because, you know, I could be a hoarder real quick. But this is one that I think needs to stay. I've got a whole Laurel Birch section of quilts. Um, that I have and, and this needs to become part of it. Plus I think my daughter would absolutely love it. We have fat quarter bundles that include the panels for you. We also have yardage so that way you can get you know, more if you think you need it or a nice background to go with it. I think this dog print would make a fabulous background with this paw print here. Also a plain black is absolutely fabulous with any laurel birch. All right, I'm gonna go grab the trios, the new ones that we put together. You guys cannot get enough of these. They keep selling out. So we're gonna show you those next. All right, I pulled out all of my new zip top trios and we're gonna show them to you now. These are so fun to make. If you've never made a bag before or you've never installed a zipper before, this is a really good project to start with because you are really able to get it done quickly. It's not a huge project. It's not a lot of steps. And we have a full video tutorial that walks you through the steps on how to do this. And we are constantly coming up with new kits for you guys because they just keep selling out. You guys love them so much. So we have a good combo of kits today. We have some that are like kid and tween friendly as well as ones that are more sophisticated for adults. So we're gonna take a look at them now. So first up, we have Unicorn Love in Teals. We previously had this in pink and purple, and I think this is the last one that we might be able to do with this fabric collection. So if you've got a little one that's obsessed with unicorns, this is the time to act and get one for them. They're great too because they are nesting, so it's just great for storage. So when you're not using them, like they're great to take with when you are traveling. You can just nest them together like this and then you have one tiny little bag taking up space on your shelf instead of three. Next up, we have another really fun rainbow collection. This was leftover from Color Play, and you can see that we have a nice rainbow going along on uh, the big one. And then the lining is for that one is our polka dot, and then it just reverses for your middle one. And you can always mix this up and do whatever you want with it um, and switch that up if you want. And then our last one is just a little teeny tiny one. This one is called Cat Call, and it's perfect for any cat lover in your life. We've got the teeny tiny one, which has the little cat cell phones. And then we have the really happy cats as our alternate. And then we have the big one also has all the cat prints on it. And it's everything from a cat shattering your phone to a million cat pics, uh, including some photo bombs, because we know we have to have lots of pictures of those furry feet lines. Lastly, we've combined two art gallery collections that really work very well together to create this version. And it really is gorgeous. That black fabric with the bright flowers looks gorgeous. And then we have this feather-like print that really helps to bring it all out. And so it just looks great. We used a rose gold zipper with that to kind of play off of the oranges in there with the black zipper tape. And it just looks so fabulous. And I, I think pretty, um, more not high end because you know it's quilting fabric but it looks really nice so i'm happy with really happy with how these turned out 
All right, so that's it for our new products for this week. Go check out the Laurel Birch, which you can see behind me. It's so gorgeous. And then the new Zip Top Trio kits. When these sell out, we'll do a whole new round of them because you guys love them so much and they make great gifts. So if you like were sewing to the last minute, last holiday season, you can start early or at least collect your items early so that you're not spending all at the end of the year. So go check all that out over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. And until next time, happy quilting. I'm gonna keep a Laurel Birch bundle for me. It's dogs and rainbow, I need, I need to have that. It is gorgeous.